Hello everyone, I am Surya and in this video I am going to tell you about how you can do projects in electronics and imaging. So let's get started. You are so lucky to be students at this point of time because you have lots of resources that you can learn from. You have extremely easy tools to build things. You have various open source uh, softwares available and tools available to build new things such as the Arduino and many other things. And Another important thing is that there are not many projects in the market yet. So there is a huge scope of contribution for you right now at this point of time. And anything you need is just a click away on the internet. All you have to do is spend some time learning. How easy is electronics? So electronics is as easy as this. You have to get the required components and watch the videos and try to do the projects explained in these videos. So this is a tutorial series by me and you can try to look at the first six videos and build the circuits that have been explained in the first six videos. Do the same with the second link and um, it may take you about a week of focused work to understand and build the circuits explained in the video and once you are done with that you are good to go. You are proficient enough to take on any projects. So if you have any new project now, you can use your previous skills and with the help of Google, I'm sure you'll be able to complete any new project. Any typical project using Arduino can be completed in 24 hours. So let me tell you about some of the projects I have worked on and how long it took me. So Arduino plays piano tiles, 48 hours, remote controlled home automation, 24 hours, speech home automation, 36 hours, internet home automation, 48 hours, motor vehicle black box 12 hours so I'm not going to go into the details of all these projects in this video but um, I'm going to share this presentation with you so you can just click on each one of this and it will take to take you to the project page of each of these projects and you can have a look at, at what those projects are and gesture sensing wristband 16 hours 4 hours 6 hours 6 hours 8 hours so these are Really cool projects and you can just do them in matter of hours, wireless energy transfer 8 hours, virtual keyboard 8 hours, robotic head 12 hours, wearable LED wristband 16 hours. So that's all you need. It, you can complete big big projects in just hours. So let me talk a little more about home automation. When I was in my sophomore year, we were funded by the Laksha Foundation to work on home automation, remote control, voice and internet. So we took about eight months to complete the project and this is the project website. You can go in and have a, have a deeper look. We, we have de documenting, we had documented everything pretty well. So now uh, after all the work, if I think back, all the work we did could be completed in just a week if we had complete focus. So it was a project of eight months, but it could be done with, in just a week. Just think about it. You have all the resources and all the big projects can be completed in very less time. All you have to do is be focused. How easy is image processing? So image processing is as easy as this. Install the latest version of MATLAB and watch the following videos. This is a 15 minute video on the basics of MATLAB and this is my video explaining image processing toolbox of MATLAB. And it takes about 10 hours and you're good to go. You can start building applications which can detect faces, recognize characters in image, and also detect shapes. So you can start working on new projects now and learn things along the way. So once you do all this, you have the basic skills and your base set up. Now, um, image processing is a huge topic and of course you, are, you don't learn all of that in these videos, but you can start working on new projects and learn things along the way and time required to automate games. This was something I tried doing with image processing and you can see that it's again a matter of hours. So uh, any project can be completed in a matter of hours. So all you have to do is work. And this is one of the most important things of this presentation. A project not documented is a project not done. Importance of documentation. I have this at the end of my guide because it is the most important thing. Uh, documenting your project will help you because uh, if you add these links to your resume it makes a lot more sen sense and your resume will look a lot more authentic than otherwise. If you apply for an internship and your friend has a resume with all the links 
uh, going back to the project pages and project videos and uh, on the other hand if there's another person who doesn't have all these links of course the person with the links will be selected and it also helps you refer back when you forget what you actually did so uh, you may think that this might not ha op happen that often but um, projects that I worked on four years back I hardly remember anything so um, I've documented my project fairly, we fairly well and it actually helps me. It also helps you keep track of all your projects very neatly. People might contact you looking at these projects. So I have many people contact me looking at my work on YouTube. So um, I got an email the other day saying um, I really uh, liked your video on car detection. So. Uh, I have this problem statement and I'm ready to give you the funding if you want and you can start working on this project. So documenting can give you a whole range of opportunities and maybe new jobs. How to document? So these are the things you must do. Save all the codes that you do on GitHub, record videos of everything you do and put it up on YouTube, have a blog and write about your projects and that should be helpful but GitHub and YouTube is really, really necessary. You can also make videos on YouTube and you can also teach people how to do them on Instructables or on your blog. Um, this would be very helpful also because more people will be watching your tutorial videos than your demonstration videos, right? Because people, people want to learn from you. People want to learn more than just watch your cool project. So. Um, you can also make tutorial videos if that if that is something that interests you but um, saving all your codes on github and recording videos of everything you do and putting it up on youtube is extremely important more information i have created the students productivity podcast and in this podcast i talk about how to start working on projects uh, how to get more things done in less time how to say no to unimportant things and the importance of documentation it is just two to three minute audio clips and uh, that would be really helpful because it won't take much time. It's also available on, I on iTunes. Just search the name there. SoundCloud link is also provided above. So if you can just click this, you're, you'll be redir redirected to the SoundCloud page where you can listen to the podcast. And you can stay in touch with me. I would love to see all the cool things that you guys do. You can uh, email me about some of the cool projects that you do or... Uh, feel free to uh, leave me an email if you need help with something also I hope you I hope this helps you good luck and uh, for more updates you can just subscribe to my mailing list my and my two YouTube channels thank you